Hey guys, welcome back to Calico Cow Acres. I'm Michaela, and I'm glad you're here. It's Memorial Day today, so it's Monday, and I am having some issues with my blueberries right now. Over the last couple days, we've kind of taken a downhill turn, and I'm gonna just put them in the ground and see what happens. Give them some organic fertilizer and mulch and whatnot, and hope for the best because they're looking rough so they all look to be having different issues but who knows it might be the same one i'm not a blueberry expert i've literally had these for a few years and they've been in these pots this entire time because we keep moving so there's definitely some like leaf spot or like leaf rust or something going on with those this one had a bunch of berries and they're all like wrinkly and they're having issues with like browning and then this one just decided to turn brown yesterday, like all of it. This happened over the last two days. This was green a few days ago. And they're not dead. They're like still nice and soft leaves. They're not crunchy, but they're brown. So I'm thinking there's some sort of deficiencies happening, maybe some leaf fungus. I don't really know. So I'm down in my orchard, which is just two elderberry plants at this point. We actually have been finding persimmons in here which is kind of cool. So we might try and keep some of those if they're in the in good spots. And they're actually all over our property now that I know what they look like and we have it cleared enough. So I'm gonna just kind of like pop the blueberries in this row, keep all of our stuff in one area for now so that we can mow the rest of it because the ticks down here are kind of really bad. <laughs> planted and amended with the compost that I brought down. I did compost and some of the uh, fertilizer at the roots and then I did a little bit more compost on top and then I'm gonna go grab mulch after I do all these and mulch at the top of all of them because we have a ton of extra mulch <laughs> and I figured that might help them. If it's loud, it's because our neighbors are cutting their grass. I just tilled up our squash patch, finally. I've been dreading this and avoiding it, and I finally made myself do it. <laughs> I found a buried pecan from a squirrel friend down there. I'm gonna crack it open and see if there's a good nut inside still, because that happened a couple weeks ago. It was really interesting. It has been one heck of a past week, you guys. I. I can't get into it. I don't want to bore you with all the details. We had Taylor's dad and his dad's wife here for the entire weekend. They were here from like Thursday through Tuesday. It rained a ton this weekend, so we couldn't get as much done as we wanted. It helped us a bunch with the chicken coop, which was awesome, and with the garden. We harvested our garlic scapes last week. I actually still have some that weren't quite ready that I need to harvest this week. And now we're just trying to get back in the swing of things. Work has been odd the last week. Lots of extra hours and other things. So I am trying not to stay out here too late tonight because I'm just really feeling like I need rest. Um, got a little rest this weekend and now my body's like craving it. It's like, ooh, we don't get that very often. Let's get some more of that. So tonight my other task that I'm gonna do is 
I have all these tomatoes that are doing amazing and I need to start clipping some of them. I got these tomato clips just off Amazon and I'm just gonna clip them as they grow up my trellis. So only a few of them, only some of them are ready. Some of them aren't. I know it's kind of just like a big green bush so it's hard to see. <laughs> but some of them aren't ready yet, some of them are, so I'll just clip the ones that are ready. I'm also to the point where I need to start pulling off suckers, which are these guys that go up at like a diagonal. So I'm gonna try and do that as well. just so mentally and physically drained this week. I don't know what it is. It's pretty hot out so it could be partially due to that or just had a lot of non-homestead related things going on this week. Just really really draining my energy and getting out to the garden at night has felt more like a, a drag than relaxing just because I'm like really really behind on getting some things done like the squash and the sunflowers and we need to get to work on the coop and now Hunter's gone so like Taylor needs my help with that but I have stuff to get done. It's a whole thing. <laughs> I'm not gonna I'm not gonna sit here and complain about it to you. There is a lot that needs to be done. I have however absolutely no energy today. I just got I just got dinner in the oven. We're having him and scalp potatoes for dinner and i've been making so much ice cream you guys <laughs> i'll have to i'll have to share some of the recipes on my blog soon i've made like a toasted coconut it tastes like almond joy um to replicate one of my favorite kilwins ice creams i used to work at kilwins i made blueberry lemon and that tastes like my like masterpiece of a blueberry cheesecake that taylor loves we're gonna add graham cracker crumble to that next time I'm about to make strawberry when I get inside later and I'm gonna use homegrown strawberries. We've been ice creaming it up. It's been wonderful. But tonight, just because I feel the need to get something done out here, I am going to water and I am going to pick a boatload of peas because these guys, honestly, I think they're kind of on their way out. But they're loaded up and I haven't picked them in a couple days.
is Taylor's chainsawing, so I'm sorry if you can hear that, it's kind of loud. It's Friday and I am so freaking happy it is Friday. It has been an extremely long, stressful week yet again, <laughs> even though it's been my second four day week in a row <laughs> because of the holiday. I have a bunch of stuff to like fill you guys in on with, just like why it's been such a stressful time. And that's probably going to be its own video because it's going to be like a little sit down chat. I have a lot to tell you. <laughs> the other night I tilled up the squash patch and I needed to get my peas harvested last night. So I absolutely had to do that. I didn't have time to do the squash patch. So I'm going to rake it into mounds tonight like I did with the rest of these for the pumpkins and the watermelons. And that's going to be like my main task of the night. If it's not too like getting too dark or late at that point, I am gonna break out the weed whacker and all of our garden paths need to be cleaned up very badly. They're severely overgrown again. You probably can't even tell, but it's, it's just a hot mess in here. So that's gonna be my other project if I can get the mounds done really quick. Saturday. It is hot today. It is 90 degrees and I'm about to go till the sunflower patch up the rest of the way. It's afternoon already and we spent most of our morning kind of, we slept in and then we went to a little local farm store and got some eggs and a whole gallon of strawberries and then we went to the, and we went to the local nursery because I went, I'm getting to the point where I can start working on my cottage garden and I wanted to show you what I got. So I got catnip. I usually grow catnip but I just I, it's been a year for seed starting and the kitties love this so much. They they already devoured a bunch of it. I got another rosemary plant. We got spearmint because we only have different kinds of peppermints right now and we love spearmint and then this giant pineapple sage. Look at this thing. I can't even show it all to you. It's massive. So I'm pretty excited about that. We're, we're gonna make some sun tea with that, I think, today. I'm trying wearing a hat. I have too much hair on my head and it's kind of too small for my head, so it's a little uncomfortable. We'll see how long I last. I usually get too sweaty wearing when I'm wearing hats and I just take them off because all the <laughs> all the heat gets stuck up here. I need to get one that's got like an open top for being out here in the sun. And we also got a butterfly bush. This is, it was on clearance at our local, our local uh, nursery. So I've been wanting one and they smell so good. And the pollinators are, gonna, pollinators are gonna love them. I don't know where I'm gonna put that yet. I need to get a hat that's big enough for my thick hair. I have a massive amount of hair. And hats just don't fit my head very well. Maybe I just have a big head. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna try wearing it because it's really, really warm in the sun today. And I think I've already gotten sunburnt just being out there a little bit today. But goals today, Taylor's gonna work on mowing and clearing more stuff up. I'm gonna till up the sunflower patch and hopefully we will have time to move some topsoil and dirt, mound our squash patch and sow all of our sunflower seeds in our, our sunflower tunnel area and cover those with some soil too. That's the main goals for today. If we have time to get all that done, we might move more dirt and start our asparagus patch for their like final destination because they're currently just randomly mixed into garden beds.
I am so sweaty and my wrists are absolutely killing me. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to finish this today. I need to take another break. I can barely like close my fingers. Whew. Got the baby. Oh, he's spicy. <laughs> Good morning guys, it's actually Sunday right now. I am drinking my morning coffee and I am wrapping up editing this video. <sighs> Yesterday, I did not realize how long that tilling would take me and how like tiring, absolutely exhausting it would be. I still like, I'm having a hard time clenching my wrists and like my hands are covered in blisters. <laughs> so um, yeah, didn't get to finish that last night. We went inside to kind of take a break and wait until the sun went down so we could water the garden and we literally just like fell asleep because it was so hot out. So that's the uh, that's the downside of only having nights and weekends to work on homestead things. We're gonna finish that up today. We have a bunch of other stuff to work on that we didn't get done yesterday. First, I need to finish editing this video, so I hope you guys liked the video, and if you did, it would be awesome if you could like and subscribe. Let me know in a comment if there's anything you guys want to see in future videos. Otherwise, thank you for watching, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye!